What is happening guys? Welcome back. So we're going to do a little bit more on the Project T5 in this episode as we've had a few more parcels delivered. Now, the last episode seems to have gone down pretty well and where we got the Caravel front end fitted, the T Transport HQ new rear lights and we got the Navis GP7 wheels fitted to what is now looking like a bit of a monster truck. Um, in this episode, what I think we're going to do is we're just going to completely gut the inside, get all the ply panels out, floor out, roof out, get the seats out, all the lower deck out, um, the rubber floor out and everything, just to be able to get all the way back, give everything a real good clean, work out where we're going to be putting electrics, work out where we're going to run cabling, and then we can start getting a bit of sound deadening in place. And then we might, probably not in this episode, but in the next one, we might get the windows fitted. Um, and just start rolling on with this camper conversion. I had a few people comment and a few messages from people saying, are you doing anything with the outside? The outside is staying as is for now. I'm not doing a single thing to it other than lowering it. Um, I'm not painting it. I'm not sorting the dents out. I'm not sorting scratches out or anything. I've always had clean, polished, really nice looking, expensive paint vans. And all I ever do is worry about leaving them parked anywhere and getting scratched and damaged and things. And I finally want a van that I'm not really going to be too fussed about leaving parked in a car park. It's still going to look cool when it's low, low down to the ground um, with a nice set of wheels on. So we'll be leaving the outside as is rather than changing these dented doors. So let us get on and start ripping the inside of this banner. Right, we've not had a massive amount of time on it today because we've got many other things that are going on and we've got to go and do, but floor, car floor, mat is out, seats are out, and all of the lower dash is all ripped out, headliners out, A pillars are out, B pillars are all out, and then ply from down the sides is all out, floors out, roofs out. So we're back to the shell, if you like. Um, the floor isn't as bad as I expected it to be and it's not as untidy as I expected it to be. Um, but the next thing really that we need to do is get in, give it a real good clean out, get all the dust off because nothing's going to stick to this. We've got to clean the whole of the inside of the van and make sure it is clean and ready for us to start putting sand deadening, etc. in. But yeah, I've got to go now. So that is all I'm going to get done today. Um, we'll see you tomorrow, hopefully, and we'll get on with a bit more. And welcome back. So we're back in the workshop. I did come in for a couple of hours yesterday and I've gone over and cleaned the floor, cleaned the walls, cleaned the roof, cleaned all the muck and dirt and grime. It was all in here and it was absolutely disgusting. Um, tried a couple of different things, tried different cleaners and rags first, but the thing that seemed to work the best was a wash mitt with fresh water in, a bucket with car shampoo and then um, we also used some Shine Supply Bug Off, I think it's called, like Bug and Tar Remover. It seemed to soften everything up and make it come off. That was the main of it. Then we went back over with like a quick detailer um, with a rag. And then we went back over the whole thing with brake cleaner and another clean rag. We seemed to get the majority of it off. And then obviously where I've been walking back in, there's footprints, whatever. So we'll have to clean the floor again. But that is it cleaned and ready for us to now start on another job. So we need to remove the bulkhead 
framing. So there's a bit that bolts on up here at the top, which is just three 10 mil bolts. And then this bit down here along the floor and then up the other pillar are welded on. So we need to get the grinder out and get those cut out. Now I'm not gonna go explaining anything on that one. I'll put a link up here to the first T5 series that we did because I did a whole video explaining how to take this out. I'll link that there, but basically get a grinder, cut it out and then prime it and yeah. We'll get on with that. I'll see you when that's out. So that's the bulkhead brackets removed from the van, as much of a pain as they ever are, but a job that needed to be done nonetheless. Um, angle grinder, hammer, chisel, spot weld drill, bit, few tools and they come out here with a little bit of time. And you may have spotted in a few of the other shots that we've had a nice delivery from the guys at Dodo Map. So Dodo have sponsored or supported the channel pretty much from the beginning. They supplied us with sand deadening and insulation items for the Caddy and then sand deadening items for the Mark 1 Golf as well. When they saw they've got the T5 on the go, they contacted me and wanted to see if they could be of any help and assist us with anything. So jump straight on that one, a few conversations and this lovely little lot turned up the other day. So we've got some sand deadening down here, which are butyl rubber. Not bitumen, as I always say. I've been told to say that one. Sorry, Mike. Um, we've got some foam, 7mm thick and 10mm thick foam insulation, but I think it acts as like a sand deadening as well. It goes on the panels. And then we've got the thermo fleece, which goes in all of the voids for all of the extra insulation. So the van should be nice and toasty once we've got, and quiet, once we've got all that lot fitted. If you need any sand deadening or insulation items, head over to dodoma.com, I think it is. It's on the screen now. And use the code DAC10 to get yourself 10% off your order. Always helps out with these van builds because they can get very, very expensive. So, massive thank you to Dodoma for sending me this lovely selection of items. Let's make a start on getting these fitted into the van. So apparently, I've not filmed anything for a few days other than the GoPro stuff of what I've actually been doing. I've just done no to camera stuff. We've made quite a lot of progress. So we've got the sand deadening on the both rear arches, the lower panels all the way around the van have been sand deadened, the roof has been sand deadened, and that panel up there has been sand deadened. And we have now also put the first layer, which is the sticky self-adhesive insulation in that panel that panel, that panel, this one in here, uh, lower, and in the sliding door as well. And we've also done the roof. Um, quickly go through it. First thing is this, which is two mil, I think it's a butyl rubber or something. Sheets that go on first and, actually the sliding door's not gonna insulate anything yet. So this is the 
driver's door or passenger door that's got no nothing in this is still just tin really tinny this is just the sound deadening makes quite a difference and then when you get in here which has got the insulation on as well it's even better so that has made a massive difference the roof compared to for rain and things it's going to make a huge difference and it is a layer of insulation already like i say arches are done in here is done um, that tall panel there is done because that is going to be um, wherever the tall unit there so that'll be a full panel that panel that panel and that panel and sliding door they're all being cut out for windows um, which will be possibly the next episode um i've put a bit of sand deadening in in the front on the, the step on the floor where it, where it didn't have any, just try and help quieten it down a little bit. I've spoken to Mikey and Andy at Transport HQ and said with the 2.5, one of the best things that you can do is take this scuttle area out, take the wiper motor out and sound deaden the bulkhead. Apparently it makes a massive difference. So we'll probably be doing that. And I haven't done anything with the front doors, as I just said, because I might have had a phone call about some exciting stuff for the cab, which will come in a future episode. Um, but that is pretty much me done for the day. Um, we've got those bits done. I've been and picked up a sheet of nine mil ply, which I'm going to go to my brother's in the morning. I'm going to cut some rips out that you bond to the floor. We've then got in that little box down there, or them two boxes there, wherever my finger is. Um, that's seven mil insulation that goes on top of those ribs that are on the floor. And then your 12 mil ply goes on top of that and screws down. And then we've got an insulated floor, insulated walls, and an insulated roof. We've done absolutely nothing yet with the back doors because they're an absolute mess and we want to swap them for a tailgate. If anyone is selling a up to 2010 tailgate for a T5 that's in okay condition, a few dents we can cope with because we've got paint it anyway, um, hit me up. If you're selling one for a reasonable price and not these prices that people try listing them on eBay for that sit on there for months and months and never sell, um, hit me up because I need a tailgate. Um, could do with a sliding door, but we're not going to worry about that just yet. Um, yeah, tailgate would be a massive help. So that's enough for me waffling on. That's a quick update. I'll see you back tomorrow when I've been to my brother's, cut the ply out, we'll get that fitted, and then hopefully be able to get the insulation down as well. Right. <sighs> see you in the morning. And there we go. We've cut out all the plywood. So this is 9 mil Malaysian hardwood ply is what I've gone for. Um, one 8 foot by 4 foot sheet is enough there's a bit of an off cut you can see it down there so it isn't quite a full sheet and this is a long wheelbase van and basically you want to put it every area that it's low and there's a flat bit you want to cut yourself a piece and stick it down to the floor so we've cut them all out they're all currently sat in there dry i've been and bought some ct1 in black um quick seal and unique seal and construction adhesive now everyone goes on about using sickflex whatever my experience of sickflex is really isn't as good as everybody says um i've used this ct1 on various things house things i've actually used it on a car before as well um and it is absolutely phenomenal um i'm not sure if anyone's seen it online but there's i think it's the bold builders on Facebook, they actually stuck a metal plate to the roof of a transit van with CT1, put a hook on it, picked it up with a crane and they actually lifted the van up using just the strength of this. Whether it's real or not, you don't know, but it seemed to be real, so we're gonna say it was. So yeah, we're gonna be sticking all this plywood down to the van floor with this. At the moment, the van floor is filthy because I've been walking in and out of it and where we've taken all the furry bits off the ply from the saw. So. We need to get all this out, clean the floor. We're going to use some degreaser to clean on the floor down. And then we'll make a start on bonding this lot down. As exciting as that is going to be, for you to watch. It needs to get done. So, let's do that. So there we go, that's those 
fixed down. Now they're obviously bonded down with mastic, and I don't know if you can see on the video or not, but what I tend to do is create a circle with the mastic, um, like several of them on one piece, and then when you push it down and move it backwards and forwards to get all the air out, the circle creates essentially a vacuum and holds the piece in place and sucks it down. In my experience, it seems to work and tends to work. Um, the, I've checked them, it's been 10 or 15 minutes since we did it. I've been around and checked them, they all seem okay. Nothing's lifted, nothing's moved, everything's down where it wants to be. So that is that bit done. I shall see you in the morning when these have gone off and we'll make a start throwing the insulation on the floor. Good morning, back in, floor has gone off. It's all nice and stuck down, it's solid, not going anywhere. So what we're gonna do now is jump on and get this seven mil insulation fitted to the floor, self-adhesive, super simple, lay it on, push it down, cut it, lay it on, cut it to the right shape, push it down, job is done. So no messing around, GoPro on, let's get that bit sorted. And there you go, there is the insulation down on the floor. And that is pretty much all we can do sand deadening and insulation wise for now. Um, rear doors we've not done, because like I said earlier in the episode, we want to convert to a tailgate. These are going to be um, cut out. Um, the sliding door is off down there. I need to still do the sand deadening, the, sorry, the sticky insulation on that. Um, but that's really not the most interesting of things. So. That is going to be that episode over and done with. In the next episode, we're going to get these panels cut out and start fitting the windows to the van. Um, yeah, we've got, there's so many things that need to be in place to be able to do certain things. So there's going to be a bit of crossover in these episodes, I think. But that is that lot done. The van is insulated. I've been out and driven it when I went and put the fly up without the floor on it. It was a lot quieter already. So with the floor down, I'm hoping it's going to be even quieter. So that's that one, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And as much as excitement as there can be of throwing insulation into a van hope you join us for the next one until next time enjoy <laughs>